What is up, gang? It's your boy Blubinati coming at you with a another awesome gift from the community. It was part of that box of goodies that they sent me a while back. We are looking at a Manganus Steel. Mono. Let's read the card there. Maybe. There we go. Tanto S35VN 60 to 62 HRC. Designed in 23 and shipped out to everybody at the beginning of 2024. Designed by Brother Sharif Manganis. Come with a sticker that I can't get out of the box. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a pain. <clears throat> Check that out. Very cool sticker. Got extra hardware. Looks like pivot, bearings, all the screws. Look, a lock bar insert. Another clip. Let's take a look at the knife, guys. Check this bad boy out. This is the purple Hayes Fat Carbon Kaimano. Look at that. And it's got a little microchip looking piece on the fat carbon right there. Definitely very cool. Got 6AL4V titanium bolster lock construction. Of course, the fat carbon purple haze scales. It's running on ceramic ball bearings. I have carried this so there are a little few little wear marks on the titanium here where it's rubbed on stuff absolutely beautiful blade flipper and hole opening mechanisms like the card said s35 vn blade steel absolutely dead center flicking hole works awesome Got a blade length of 3.7 inches with a hollow ground blade with a reinforced flat ground tip and a harpoon. We like that harpoon action. Got a blade thickness of 0.135 inches, a handle thickness of about 0.53. And an overall length of 8.63 inches. Comes with a uh, cloth. And I'm trying to remember who OEM this. Was it Kaiser? I don't recall. And I don't see it on the site. Well, it says Maker Manganus Steel. Not sure. We'll have to let somebody else who knows more about it talk about that part, not me. Take a look at the grinds on that blade. And of course, it's dirty. Because it's been in my pocket. And did I prepare it before starting this video? No. Why would I do that? I'm never prepared. <clears throat> Absolute beauty of a knife. 
Sharif killed it with this. Back spacer. Jimping's real nice on there. You got a 3.7 inch blade, which gives you, let me pull out my little tape measure. Love the box too. The silver embossing on the deal. It's like, mwah, chef's kiss. So we got almost a three and three quarter inch blade. Which gives us I don't know if they're going from pivot. Pivot's four and a half. From the front of it, it's five inches on the handle. As you can see in my smaller than average hands, and if I get in frame, I got enough room for at least two more fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely uh, saved my Slurpee on a Saturday night at 7 Eleven. Definitely feels good in just your standard hammer grip. Uh, you can trigger pull on that. I have small enough fingers that I can actually get behind the blade edge there, but I wouldn't want to go too crazy there because that would definitely uh, have opportunity to slide back up under my finger there. The uh, harpoon, very nice. Let your thumb rest right there. You can push through cuts. Uh, as uh, Tri-State says, pinch grip. Oh, yeah. Pinch grip it for sure. <clears throat> I'm becoming real fond of these Tonto and compound ground blades. Definitely make me smile. Even though I have tiny hands, these larger blades definitely uh, bring me great joy. So let's take a look at some size comparisons. I happen to have some of Sharif's other designs. This one from Kubi. That I now can't remember what it's called. Future Me, would you be so kind as to put it on the screen? And I was pretty sure I had another one over here. <coughs> yeah, there it is. Another Kubi. This one's in D2 from Kubi. As you can see, I've also worn or used that one quite a bit. And again, my brain's deciding to go on vacation at this very moment. And I can't remember the name of that one either. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So future me will have to be so kind as to put the names of these two knives up on the screen. But as you can see, Sharif has a, uh, a def you know, definite uh, design language. These are all definitely very cool blades of his. Uh, let's see, this one here is in flamed tiger stripe anno and CPM 20 CV. <clears throat> this one was in D2 and G10. And of course, Titanium S35VN and Purple Haze Kaimano. Now we'll set these over here. Take a look at some other ones. We've got a Devo Lush that is slightly smaller than it. We've 
Got a CJRB Pyrite Alt. Definitely smaller. And button lock. Up against a baby penguin. Definitely larger. And then we dwarf it. I guess four max scout. Oh, definitely awesome blades. The action on this is freaking wonderful. Now let me find me some paper and cardboard and we'll do a little quick cut test on it. <gasps> Knock the dust off of that. Find the magazine paper. Go ahead and start off with cardboard. And it just freaking, like it's not even there, guys. Do the front part. Definitely sharp still. You see it picked up some of the glue off of there. There's the tip, nice flat grind, and then there's the hollow grind, oh, ho, ho, ho. like butter, like it's not even there. Beautiful. Blade off real quick. <gasps> there you go, guys. Purple Haze Kaimano. You can get them at msknives.com. I do believe he still has some available. That was my computer waking up there. The Purple Haze. Yep, you can still add them to cart. Are going for $275. And the Natural Micartas are going for $255. Both still have the options to add to cart, which means there are still some available. If you want to pick you one up. If you're a fan of Sharif's... Uh, Design language is definitely one to pick up. But if you definitely want a nice looker for your EDC carry, this Purple Haze Fat Carbon is definitely the way to go. You can't go wrong. Got some wonderful chamfering there. Cutouts on the inside, bolster lock. Tie clip is reversible. Very nice. No sharp edges anywhere. Except for the blade, of course. <laughs> Definitely a winner, guys. Wanted to fight me. Again, this was a gift from the community and cannot say thank you enough. Definitely enjoying getting to check these out and getting to make content for you guys. Don't forget to do something kind for somebody. You never know what the other person is going through. The smallest act of kindness could make a massive difference in their day. Don't forget to be a knife nerd. 
keep them sharp, and we will check you guys on the next video. It's your boy, Bluminati, signing off. Peace.